Now that you have become an expert on drawing curves, I want you to prove it to me. I'm going to go to file and open again. I've already started your next file for you. I go to my desktop and find my chapter four files and there is 4.2, knowing your curves. Now, when I open that Illustrator file, I'm not going to give you help. I want you to draw the Kleenex logo. Okay, we're doing the same thing we just did on the Curves logo. When you're done, you have a rectangle layer. So you could draw that big rectangle and fill it with another pattern. Now you draw the logo right here. So what I would suggest is you start by hitting D for default colors. Click on the white fill and hit your question mark key. And then you really focus on these bottom curves. They're pretty simple curves. I take my pen tool. I always start with the white arrow first, then the pen tool, and I evaluate what I have to draw. From this corner all the way down and up, that seems like a long curve. Long curves get three points. One at the beginning, one across the bottom, and a third one to end. If it's a shorter distance like this, it can be done with just two points. Option or Alt key to start from a corner, there's one and there's two. If it seems a little longer or you're not sure, put a third point. Option or Alt key to start from a corner, I put a point across the bottom of the curve and I put a third point to end that curve. Here, if I'm not sure if I should really consider that a long curve or a short curve, make it long, three points. Option or Alt key to start from a corner, there's one. Right across or near the bottom, there's two. And all the way up here is three. When it comes down to this edge, you got a sharp turn here. So what I'm gonna do is hold Option or Alt key and do one. Then right before a sharp turn, I put a point before a sharp turn, in the middle of a sharp turn, and coming around a sharp turn. When the edge barely bends, I can go all the way up there and drag up. Perfect. From here, all the way down to there would be three points. That's just a long curve. Option or Alt key, there's one. About halfway down, there's two. And coming around the turn, there's three. I would even consider this the same thing, three points. Option or Alt key to start from a corner, there's one. Coming right or across the bottom of that turn, there's two. And coming all the way back up, there's three. Short curves, you get one and two. That's it. Okay. I'll let you figure out these other ones. There's a sharp turn. There's a long curve right to about there. And then you have another sharp turn. So keep that in mind. Okay, I'm just going to command click outside or control click with the PC. Remember when you have these sharp turns, you do one for a long curve, two along the bottom of that long curve, and then right before a sharp turn, right there. Now that is way too long for this very sharp turn. So I back up to the end of the line. Press and hold, and now I do a short line for a short curve. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Now the next one is a long curve. So I'm gonna back up to the end of that line. One for a long curve, two at the bottom of that long curve, and three to end a long curve. And you can go through and figure out the rest. Okay, when it comes to the letters E, because you got a lot of them, E's and L's, you would do a one, two, three point curve, 
and then a one, two, three point like this. One to start, a second one up the side, and a third one across the top, which simultaneously is the first one for the other half of the E, the second one down the side of the E, and a third one to end. If you keep those rules in mind, one, two, three for a long curve, one, two, three for the other side, you will get it every time, okay? I will leave the rest up to you. You can still do those three point curves regardless of how long they are. And this is the last one I'll do just to provide you the last of my hints for this logo. One at the beginning, a second one up the side like that. You're just dragging longer direction lines and a third one across the top right there, which simultaneously is the first of the next curve right down the side, the second point on the next long curve, and down at the bottom is the third point. You can still achieve a very smooth look. Like I showed you on the curves logo, you always want to draw the outer edge first, the big shape where all the letters go around the outside edges. Then you draw your openings. Okay, that's very important. So remember, once you have drawn your openings, you select everything, you fill, and I'll do it even though I'm not done, you fill it with a color, okay? It won't look like that once you're done, but you fill it with a color, then you take your shape builder and you option or alt click the openings to cut openings open, okay? When you have a large rectangle right there on that layer, I should be able to see through these openings and see your pattern going right through those openings, just like we did on the Curves logo before this. So I wanna challenge you to draw your own curves. Let's see how you're coming along with the pen tool. And as always, good luck.